Hi, I'm Mike. I'm here at Windy City Rails uh, on behalf of UTASIC. I'm standing here with Jim Remzik, who does Madison Ruby and the UX Mad. Um, so, Jim, thanks for, for taking the time to talk with me. My pleasure. Madison Ruby has been on the lips of everybody at Groupon this past uh, couple of weeks. So, can you tell everybody a little bit about what is Madison Ruby? And sure. Uh, so, Madison Ruby was the event that I wanted to go to. Uh, we had a couple of goals. We wanted to introduce the Ruby community to Madison, and we've had several people say, well, Madison, yeah. maybe we'll relocate. And, uh, but also introduce Madison to the Ruby community, because there mm -hmm. were a ton of people that I knew from attending conferences that were awesome people, and we just wanted to uh, introduce the Madison people to them and sort of get them uh, involved in the community. Okay, and uh, you know, earlier I had heard that you engage the actual Chamber of Commerce in, in and so you try to make it like way beyond just a developer conference. So, uh, to some degree, yes. We, we want to bring in people who are interested in Ruby mm -hmm. and uh, entertain them and give them things that, to take away that uh, showcase their passion and, and inspire them. <laughs> and really, that, that wasn't really a goal going in but the single most word that I've used to, uh, here to describe this year's conference was people came away inspired, which was, you know, we That's were over the moon thing. to hear that. Yeah, yeah. So I, it seems like you have kind of a, a TED format almost. It seemed like you had that. I remember seeing pictures of a big carpeting and a stage. So there's a, a three-sided... theatrical. Yeah, it, it, it's a playhouse theater, and it's a three-sided stage, uh, which is just fantastic because from... The center of the stage, I don't think that you're more than like 15 feet from any individual person in the theater. Okay. So it's a very intimate uh, theater. We do shorter talks. We only do 30 minutes. Um, we actually had some 20-minute talks this year. Mm -hmm. And um, we don't do only Ruby. We don't do only technical. Mm -hmm. um, and so this year we happened to have two legendary drummers. We had Clyde Stubblefield, who's James Brown's drummer. And we had Martin Atkins, who's a, a legendary punk drummer, been in uh, little bands like... Uh, ministry, Big yeah. Face, Killing Joke. Yeah, and, uh, small, small bands. In, yeah. And uh, so, yeah, that's what, what was kind of the goal there? I mean, it, it's simple. Uh, and so this year it happened to be drummers, uh, not because we sought out drummers, just because those were the people that we found locally. Mm -hmm. uh, we had a, uh, since our first conference, we've always included a local flavor session, which is we wanted to showcase Madison. And so we had... Uh, the first year we had a chocolatier, mm -hmm. a cheesemaker, and the brewer unfortunately didn't show up. <laughs> but we wanted to, to showcase people that are in Madison who are passionate about what they do yeah. and that are doing awesome things. So uh, you, know, you, can't get, uh, you can't get much more passionate than, than Martin Atkins and Clyde Stubblefield. Yeah. And they just came in and uh, they're entertainers and they, they killed their, their sessions. Yeah. So, so is they, they come in, they talk about bringing passion to what you do or, or trying to, and because what I would imagine is they're, they're great artists, but also they do the same thing day in, day out. Whereas we like to imagine that we're creating art or, or we are being creative in our industry, but we do it day in and day out. Is it was that kind of? Yeah. So, uh, particularly with, with those two, we just said, you know, come in and tell us why you do what you do. Mm -hmm. And you know, Clyde told more of a story about uh, how he, you know, started out playing two sticks on a, a trash can lid and mm -hmm. how he got to where he is today. And uh, Martin, a little bit more entertaining, yeah. but he has a, a, you know, a, how to how to do what you do and be successful at it. And uh, you know, it's, it's a little more entrepreneurial from a uh, little bit, yeah. Yeah. It, he, so he actually has a book called "Welcome to Music Business." Mu uh, Welcome to the music business. You're <clears throat> effed. And yeah. uh, <laughs> I don't know who your audience is. So, yeah, yeah. No, uh, it's PG. <laughs> all right. So, but in, I like to describe that book as a a punk bra getting real uh, from Thirty Seven Signals, but. You know, from the from the perspective of a, a punk drummer. Yeah, because yeah, people people think about what they create, the music, the playing, but there's a lot that goes in. You know, it's like running a conference. It's like business, yeah. right? So, uh, a punk band is a small business, and he has been successful for a number of years through mm -hmm. you know multiple iterations, and it's it just a lot of common sense stuff. They like, oh, right, 
you know, that makes yeah. a ton of sense. Why didn't I think of that? Sometimes the common sense just has to kind of snap you in the face, though, to Absolutely. for it to come through. So, uh, and what is what is UX Mad? UX Mad is a user experience conference. Mm -hmm. um, this is something that we actually we had a uh, a person living with us who is a user experience expert, and uh, he said, "When I finish my book, let's do a UX conference." And mm -hmm. The book never got finished, but we said we want to do another yes, event. Let's do the so, conference anyway. Exactly. <laughs> um, so it's really bringing in. Uh, user experience, which is a really hard question uh, to answer what it is, um, but you know it's it's everything from you know we we took the uh, the aspect of web uh, user experience, mm -hmm. so everything from page load time, look and feel, uh, content to uh, you know, do things function correctly. All those play a role in user experience, okay. and so our goal was to sort of put on a an awesome front end conference. And uh, again, people didn't really know what to expect. I think from that conference, mm -hmm. but everybody left with great feedback. So, uh, what would be? I mean, y you know, designers have very different goals and different, um, at least in my experience, have different uh, mentality towards their work than uh, programmers do. What? You know, run in two different conferences that are targeting these very, or at least what I would perceive to be very different audiences. What has you know been some of the trade-offs? What has worked with one, but maybe not worked with the other? Um, well, I mean, at the end of the day, there's still people, and mm -hmm. there are people who care about what they do. Those are the type of people that we're looking to, to draw in. Um, so it's not it's not terribly hard to say, okay, you know, put it in this bubble, and then. Mm -hmm frame it in the context of a person who cares about what they do. Um, it was definitely, uh, definitely differences. Uh, we have karaoke for the designers, okay. which probably wouldn't play <laughs> too well at, yeah. at a Ruby conference, but um, you know. That's, how, much, that's, how, how, that, how much beer would have been consumed though before it would work at a Ruby conference? Maybe if you had the brewer that showed up, that would have. Um, we actually, so, uh, that's, uh, I do want to say that that's stereotyping, that there are plenty of, of karaoke people in the, in the Ruby community, mm -hmm. but um, you know, those people just seem a little bit more extroverted. Um, so, but, I mean, we, we did focus on that. We had the after party for UX Mad at a children's museum. Oh, really? Just so interactive, and uh, one, of my favorite, uh, one of my favorite highlights from UX Mad was we had rock band set up, we had an entire children's museum full of uh, exhibits for people to play with. I go in the back room, and there's 20 people sitting around a kid-sized table drawing with crayons. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, it was just it was fantastic. Yeah, um, you know the Madison Ruby Conference. Um, you know, it, again, it's just about people who care about what they do, mm -hmm. happen to be focused on Ruby. Um, so there are definitely differences. They're largely back-end uh, focused, not always, uh, but. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, thank you very much for taking the time to Absolutely. speak with me. Appreciate it. Cheers.